Hi everybody, welcome back to Sunshine Soap and Candle Company. If you're new to my channel, my name is Corey and I am the owner and maker of everything at Sunshine Soap and Candle Company. Several years ago, I released and published a emulsified sugar scrub video and recipe that's been very popular here on YouTube and over on my Patreon campaign. And since the release of that recipe, I've had lots of requests and inquiries about the very popular Tree Hut brand of sugar scrubs. You can find Tree Hut sugar scrubs at Target and of course I've purchased my own and used them so I can see how to replicate them or come up with something pretty close. And they're just gorgeous. They, the sugar and the additives and the oils are just kind of suspended in this gorgeous gel base. And so today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how to make a sugar scrub like Tree Hut two different ways. You can find both of these formulas over on my Patreon campaign. I'll go ahead and put the link in the description box below. They are available at the $5 level and they will include the full written recipe with percentages so you can scale up or down as you like, plus a full written detailed step-by-step -step tutorial. There's so much to take advantage of over on my campaign. I really hope you'll consider joining us. Along with these two recipes that you can get at the $5 level, you can also access three and a half years of archived recipes, all for the same small pledge. There are other tiers for you to take advantage of if you like. We offer things like live classes, live monthly hangouts, monthly gift packages, a ton of skincare, hair care, and candle recipes for you to take advantage of. It's a great way to connect with me. It's a great way to connect with other makers. Again, the link will be in the description box below. All right, let's make some sugar scrub. So in my research of how to make a sugar scrub like Tree Hut, of course I looked at all the ingredients. The Tree Hut brand is made up primarily of white granulated sugar and also a high amount of glycerin. So the two formulas that I've come up with, one has a little bit more oil and one has a little bit more glycerin and you'll see that it does change the overall consistency depending on how much you use. So one is a little bit more fluid and one is a little bit more thick. So you can decide which one you like and you know, go from there. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and weigh off the oil for the first recipe. Now, we are gonna be using grapeseed oil. It's a very emollient oil, it's pretty inexpensive and it's also very nutrient dense and great for your skin. So we're gonna be adding in some oil, okay? And then to the oil, we're gonna be adding in some shea butter. Shea butter is absolutely gorgeous in lotions and scrubs. It's very moisturizing and healing. It's got a ton of antioxidants. And then the next thing we're gonna do is add in an ingredient here that is the game changer. So this is the magic ingredient that you're gonna to use to create kind of that gel suspension that's like the Tree Hut brand. And it is an ingredient that's called silica. Now you can get this at Making Cosmetics. It's silica dimethyl silylate, and it goes airborne super easily, so you're gonna wanna make sure you're wearing a mask. It doesn't irritate really like um, solid surfactants. However, it does. it's super powdery, and you don't wanna be breathing it in. So I'm just gonna place my mask on. Now the silica is oil soluble. However, you're not gonna see it dissolve until we warm up this phase. Okay, and then next up, we're gonna be adding in some polysorbate 80. This is gonna give it some nice emulsifying properties. So you'll see it kind of cream up on your skin when the water hits as you're using the scrub. Then we're gonna be adding in some glycerin. Now, this recipe is gonna show you the smaller amount of glycerin. This is the one that has more oil and less glycerin. And then the next recipe I'm gonna share with you has less oil and more glycerin. And it really, that is the only difference between the two consistencies. Okay, so that's gonna be it for the heated phase. So what I'm gonna do on this one is just go ahead and mix this up so that we wet down that silica. Okay, so this is what it looks like after you get it all kind of mixed in. However, it's definitely not a fluid looking solution at this point because we do need to melt down that shea butter and we do need to heat up the silica with the oil and the glycerin and the polysorbate. 
So we're gonna go ahead and heat this up. I'm actually gonna prepare the other one that has more glycerin off camera, and then I'll just show you what the two look like side by side. All right, so here are the two sugar scrubs side by side. I haven't yet melted down the oils and the butters and the silica, but I wanted to show you the difference. You're gonna see this one is much thicker. This one's gonna be a little bit more fluid. And the only difference is this one has more oil than glycerin, and this one has more glycerin than oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of mica powder. I am trying to replicate the candy cane tree hut scrub here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and try to replicate the holiday cheer one here. The candy cane one that they sell is a white color with little pink um, jojoba beads, I think. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of um, candy apple red, just a little bit. I'm just going for a pink color. I can add more later if I want. Um, the tree hut one is white, but I don't have any um, oil soluble titanium dioxide. So I'm just gonna make that a nice light pink color and then I'm gonna make this one a light green. So what I'm going to do is go pop this over into a double boiler type system, a saute pan with some water until this is all melted down and I'll bring you back for the next steps. Okay so here we are everything is now melted down and that silica has turned the oil and butter and everything else in here into a gel type consistency. This is exactly what we're going for. So this is the one with more oil, this is the one with more glycerin. So what we're gonna do now is add in the cool down ingredients. These are both sitting right around 150 degrees. And this one is gonna be peppermint essential oil to kind of mimic that candy cane themed one that Tree Hut has. So we're gonna go ahead and add in some peppermint essential oil. Okay, and then to that, we're gonna be adding in some preservative. We're using Optifin as the preservative. And then we're gonna give this a good stir. The last thing we need to do on this one is just add in some sugar. So we're gonna add, we're gonna first just incorporate the preservative along with that peppermint essential oil. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and set this aside. And then to this one, we're gonna be adding in some Nature's Garden fragrance oil. This one is called Twigs and Berries. The names at Nature's Garden crack me up sometimes, but it's a very festive holiday um, fragrance. It smells a lot like candied berries smells really nice. So we're gonna be adding that one to the holiday cheer type. And then again, we're gonna be adding in some Optifin preservative. And then giving this a good stir to combine. Both of these would be great obvious options for the upcoming Christmas season. I wanted to kind of give you an option to make these holiday themed if you want. And of course, I did really like the Tree Hut brand of this type. Okay, and the last thing we're gonna do as far as this part is concerned, is to go ahead and add in the sugar. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and slowly add the sugar in here. You don't have to worry about it melting. This doesn't have any water in it. And sugar is not oil soluble. So it's okay that it's warm when you add it. Okay, so it is coming up a little bit lighter in color, which I like. So 
So there you can see we're getting a consistency much like the Tree Hut brand sugar scrub here. And it will continue to get a little more fluid actually as the sugar settles in with the gel base. And then the only other thing I'm gonna do on this one, I have these little pink jojoba beads. Um, actually, they're Vitaburst beads. Um, in the Tree Hut brand, there's some pink little, you gotta be careful with these, a little bit goes a long way. I just eyeball this part. I'm just putting in a little bit here. And there's that one. And then we're gonna go ahead and add the sugar to this one and I'll bring you back to show you the final consistency on this one. Okay, so now all the sugar is incorporated, I just wanted to show you, they're still warm so they will change a bit in consistency as it cools. But this one is the one that I think is kind of spot on to that tree hut consistency. See how it's just kind of like a little more fluid than a traditional emulsified scrub and easy to pick up yet not greasy or oily at all. Okay, and then this one is the second one that's thicker. So you can see this one would be a great option for shipping purposes and just also for you know people like me who like a little bit more substance when they pick up the sugar scrub in the shower that it's not just gonna drip right through your um, fingers. So I like both of them very much. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and package them up and putting them in these wide mouth PET containers. I believe I got these on Amazon. Okay, here they are. I do have a little bit left over that I'm gonna put in some smaller containers, but here's what they look like. They're so, so gorgeous. So I'm gonna be right back after these cool down a little bit to show you what the final consistency looks like and also to give you a little bit of a use demo. All right, so these have been setting up now for a few hours and they're just about room temperature now. Just wanted to show you the difference between the two. This one is a little more opaque and a little thicker. This one is a little more fluid. And I'll go ahead and show you what the consistency looks like with a, a use demo. So let's go ahead and start with the candy cane one first. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wet my hands. And go up my arms a little bit. I wanna show you what this looks like close up. So this is, to me, the exact consistency as the Tree Hut brand. So we're just gonna go ahead and apply it. You really don't need that much. I just wanted to give you a good idea. So as you can see, it's mixing with my already wet arms and hands. It has a beautiful skin feel and there it goes, just kind of creaming up from that polysorbate 80 and giving me a nice creamy exfoliation. Now I like a lot of sugar in my body scrubs because I like a more of an exfoliation on my body. So mine has quite a bit of sugar. And there you go, see how it's emulsifying? So it's going to give you a very clean rinse off. Mm. Peppermint essential oil. And now for the thicker one. This is the Holiday Cheer dupe. Super pretty. So as you can see, this one is a bit thicker. It's not readily falling off my fingers. 
I can squish it and hold it. It feels a bit stretchy. Okay. So there's the same amount of sugar in this one as the other one. And this one is just a little thicker in consistency and a bit more substantial. Would probably be a better option for shipping. And I have noticed when they are in the shower and they get warm, they do loosen up a bit, a bit more. Wow, these are awesome. All right, everybody, that's how you make a duplicate of Tree Hut Sugar Scrubs. I hope you really liked this video. I hope it inspired you. I hope you learned something. If you did, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. Please remember to leave a comment or question below. That really means a lot to me. Subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share this video with a friend. All right, everybody, catch you on the next video. Bye, keep shining.